Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's only seven o'clock um, on a Saturday morning. Here's Jake with his water bottle. Um, we're having to move our colonies this morning. Um, the green colony was getting quite aggressive. It seems to have calmed down now, um, but for 10 days or so it was quite aggressive whilst uh, after we did our split and whilst there was a, a no queen in the hive. Um, we're hoping it's calmed down. We're going to have a look at the other end and see if the, there's a new queen laying and everything and everything's okay, but we got quite aggressive. Uh, we picked up a couple of stings between, between us and the family and our neighbour got stung multiple times as well, so it's just the right thing to do just to move them on. We've got a big place at our at, um, friends over in County Meath, so we've got a 40 minute drive on the motorway. We've boxed them up, we've put, um, we've taped up the entrances. Um, you can see here the, the boxes are stapled together and we have row mesh floors on the bottom, so we've got mesh on the bottom and we've lifted the hives up slightly to let a bit of air underneath. I actually put a bit of padding underneath as well, I don't know if that makes any difference just to dampen any vibrations but we put that under and then there's kind of a half an inch gap or an inch gap underneath as well for some air and then our local beekeeping supplies guy um, kindly gave us a few off cuts of row of mesh floor of mesh floor for free uh, so we just take them together so we've got ventilation on the top so the bees can when, when transporting bees in warm weather there's a real risk that they could all over, they could overheat and the, the hive can just be destroyed <coughs> um, it's been really warm weather so the only time we can do this is early in the morning so we're hitting the road now at about seven um, you can it's quiet and down it's not much noise from the two hives which is promising the green one's a bit a bit a, bit of a, a little bit of a fizz from it but yeah they seem calm enough uh, Jake's going to just spray a bit of water over the top just to help them with the temperature regulation um, just give them something to do uh, we just think that might be a good idea um, that's how bees regulate temperature in the hive bring it down by taking in water and fanning it and evaporating the water off <coughs> um, so we're going to give them a few sprays of water and then we're going to hit the road we're in our bee suits and we have a 45 minute drive around the motorway. We're in Ireland, so it's the M50, the, the M25 equivalent for any English people watching. So we're gonna be driving very slowly in our bee suits. Um, and we'll um, put it, put the, we'll do a really short clip the other end when it's on the new stand in our new apiary. All right, Jake, over to you, a few sprays in the top. Yeah. Well done, it's probably enough on that one. Same again for the other one. I suppose part of beekeeping is, do being, is doing it responsibly. We could have persevered, but once people get stung, you've got to kind of think sensibly about it and resist the temptation to just wait and hope they settle down because they may settle down and we don't think they might have done, but they might get aggressive again next year. And it just, it just seems our garden isn't quite big enough. Are you all done, Jake? Good yeah. man. Yeah. Right, guys, we'll see you at the other end. See ya. Yeah, see ya. Bye. Hi, everybody. So that all went to plan. The hives are in place now. Um, just a 45 minute journey. So as you can see, there's lots of space here. A little fruit orchard. Uh, plenty of space. Nobody uses a tennis court, so that's uh, we checked that already. And the house is a good bit down to the uh, down in that direction. So I'm just going to show you the the hives. Uh, there's a really tall, big, thick hedge here. This access point is used to go around here, but our hives are down this little dead end and they're facing the other way so hopefully this is a really good spot uh, they'll get a bit of morning sun but not masses but uh, I just think this is the best spot for them and there's there's a big 
barrier either side and then front so that it pushes them right up right up high before they end up foraging I forgot to say just down there you can probably see the reeds there there's a pond so they've got plenty of water so it's all about what's local <coughs> forage wise and hopefully no one's using insecticides and stuff so we'll see how it goes when we took the front off Jake, the green hive was a bit more aggressive, wasn't it? Yeah, there are, as you can see there, there's a lot more bees in the entrance. So they were just being a bit more aggressive generally. Yeah, we opened the, we opened the, the white hive, the poly hive first, and not a bother at all, but, but uh, then we opened the green one. And they are more aggressive, so we're gonna, before the sun comes up too much more, it's only about quarter to eight now. So that all, that all went well. We're gonna put the roofs, just cover them over, and then we're going to let them settle down for a couple of hours, have some breakfast, come back and do our inspections because then we're off on our holidays. But um, you can see them, they're just starting to orientate. They know straight away that this is somewhere different and they're just starting to orientate around the hives. It's a little bit chaotic, so we're going to sign off, have some breakfast and we'll see you a bit later. Okie dokie, bye.